Today, the U.S. Supreme Court kicked off oral arguments for three cases that could have huge implications for LGBTQ Americans. The cases center around three lawsuits where people say that they were Ill illegally fired for either being gay or transgender. Our Washington correspondent, Raquel Martin, tells us the justices must now determine if sexual orientation and gender identity are considered sex discrimination. LGBTQ advocates and conservative groups rallied outside the steps of the Supreme Court Tuesday as the justices took on three historic cases that could decide if LGBTQ Americans are protected from workplace discrimination under the 1964 Civil Rights Act. What happened to me was wrong. Amy Stevens is the transgender woman at the center of one case. Her attorney, David Cole, with the ACLU, argues that the funeral home owners who fired her for refusing to follow their gender-based dress code violated the law. All we are asking the court to do is to recognize that transgender people have the same rights. Back inside the court, the justices wrestled with what the word sex was intended to mean when it was written back in 1964. Justice Ginsburg sided with the plaintiffs who say it's long been expanded to include sexual harassment and sex stereotyping. Americans and American businesses should be able to rely on what the law says. Thomas Rost and his wife own the funeral home. They say they simply follow the existing law. Now we face severe penalties because the ACLU is trying to change the law out from under us. Their lawyer, John Burr, says changing the definition will hurt women in sports and in private women-only spaces like bathrooms and domestic violence shelters. The ACLU's attempt to redefine sex creates unfair situations for women and girls. The justices will have until June to issue a ruling. In Washington, Raquel Martin.